Wow guys, this Apple Silicon announcement is just amazing. The reaction's been awesome across the board. This is so much power and innovation in this brand new chip. Apple has really set a very high target and I am very excited. This is gonna be an amazing, awesome development for the whole IT industry, not just for Apple, for everyone else. So after looking at this deeply, this is five things I found really amazing and awesome about the Apple Silicon platform. So let's have a look at it, let's go. Welcome back guys, my name is Rehan. Hope you are doing well. Let's have a look at five things which are really amazing about this new platform, the Apple Silicon, the new A-series chips coming soon, already out actually. So number one, this is gonna enable Apple to make some really powerful, really low power Macs and desktops. So imagine a MacBook Pro with a beefy, more powerful chip than an i9, but with battery life, which goes almost 24 hours or 20 hours with heavy rendering and stuff, you're looking at 10 to 15 hours, like you'll forget, you need a charger with you all the time. This makes me really excited. I think this is gonna be a really amazing development for Apple and the way their Macs and their future laptops will work. This is so good. With the new Xcode, with the new development system and development kit out, Apple is saying any app you make from now or all the apps available in the coming months will be universal. So you will have apps which will run on not only Intel Macs, the old ones, <laughs> it will run on iPads and all Macs as well. It's gonna be a seamless experience. With their own chips, Apple is gonna be able to control how they release their products. So if you look at the whole year, besides the Macs, everything else like the iPhones, iPads, all their more mobile stuff is guaranteed around like they always have fixed dates when they come out like iPhones are September pro stuff is around November October ish and then iPads and stuff is March but because of Intel's different way of releasing stuff and their cadence Apple cannot guarantee when the updates are gonna come and that turns out to be uh, a negative for customers where they don't know if they should buy a MacBook now or an iMac now or they should wait for an update so this is hopefully gonna let Apple control all the releases there they'll have control over a yearly every two years if they want to do a release they will have total control over the release and how the machines perform and present the fourth thing is uh, all the native apps apple makes they are just going to have next level of performance because already you know the way apple makes their ipad and iphone and the way software is made for them they work really well like you pick up any of the big android flagships and do geekbench or just day-to-day -day work and you will know that the iphones have superior performance not that the Android stuff is bad, but just this is just a totally different level. So any app which Apple develops themselves, especially like Logic and Final Cut Pro and, and their own systems and even Mac OS is gonna perform super nicely, super well balanced performance will come out of this system. Another really big thing which Apple is gonna be able to do now is they, they'll be free to explore new technology. So say if they, they are planning on their VR or AR stuff, they will obviously need a chip. They won't have to go to Intel or AMD or some other manufacturer looking for a chip just like the apple watch or their phones or their ipads they can easily develop more chips which can work seamlessly across the board so this will let them do vr and ar and i don't know what else like apple is planning the bigger picture is because of this this will encourage microsoft and google and everyone else to also look at these sort of solutions and this i think this trend is gonna push the whole industry towards a really positive move and it will push hopefully intel and amd amd is already doing an awesome job and Intel to make newer, more lightweight, powerful processors, look at new infrastructures to come out with really brilliant processors for the future. Cool guys, there's loads more stuff about the Apple Silicon. I will hopefully release more videos soon. If you have any questions, anything you'd like to discuss or you'd like me to have a look at, please drop a comment below. And I hope you liked the video, so please press the like button, subscribe as well. I will hopefully see you guys soon in the next video. If you're not aware what the Apple Silicon chip is or their line of chips is, I've made a video, links up here, also in the description also i have made a video about some of the negative or bad stuff about this uh, new development which is up linked up here in the description so guys have a look i hope you like it take care and i will see you guys later bye